always staying busy. He's your league leader in receiving yards. It's the Commanders and the Jets, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 24. That's well, an afternoon probably best suited for skating in Central Park, but we're across the river. We are in for a cold one at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. It is week 16 in the NFL, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. and losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. And they will be led out by their rookie cornerback. Throwing to start the drive. Brock. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Back to throw. Brock. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Looking to throw. Brock. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First carry of the game for Brian Robinson. Touchdown, Washington! Brian Robinson, Jr., his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Commanders are on the board first here this afternoon. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early... And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown! Jahan Jackson with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the commanders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He threw a touchdown. They start on the ground with Robinson here. There he goes, right side. Inside the 20. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Brian Robinson, Jr. That's his 19th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Commanders go up by two touchdowns. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often... Oh, 
Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. I'm sure he wanted to have a huge game, wants to have a huge game as the quarterback, but really on the ground, they've been very, very hard to stop. Maybe you just keep going to that well. I think so, and isn't it funny how the definition of balance changes for us from game to game? Sometimes it's 50-50, run it, throw it. Sometimes it's just being a balanced running team in terms of who's carrying yeah, the football. Not more than one guy. Right, multiple guys out there, and now your guy back there has to throw it. Doesn't have to worry about it quite as much. And they've got the lead here in the second quarter. Out to his left. The big fella! Now he's free at the 35. He may go. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. It's their quarterback, 66 yards. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. Last time they had the football, he ran it in. His eighth rushing touchdown of the season. On first and ten, Brock buying time to his left. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm all... He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Carl Lawson just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Back to throw. Brock. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, 64 yards. And the Commanders are able to add on to their first half lead. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He's thrown for two touchdowns. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Looking to throw. Brock. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 13 yards there at a Washington first. Late in the season now, MVP chatter starts, and he might be on the fringe. This is always an award that goes quarterback, running back, a usually quarterback. Against a lot of bias. Does he deserve consideration? He more than deserves consideration because the way the game is played in the NFL now, it's a pass-first league, right? So that means that people are going to adjust their defenses for him each and every week, and he's still putting up big-time numbers. I know the quarterbacks, the running backs get it, but he should be firmly in the race for MVP. 20! And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Partner, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role. Really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flush to his right. 
And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders have opened the lead up to 30. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with it. You don't want him getting happy. He capped off that last drive himself. Had the touchdown run. And he'll take over here. Throwing to start the drive. Brock looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. On first down, Brock. His throw incomplete. And Charles, you think about this offense, and it's kind of a tricky time of the season because you're 14-0, looking to see this one out to the end, but you start to run into situations where guys are getting a little banged up. Maybe could use some time sharing, some time. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Commanders have taken a five-touchdown lead. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his third already in this first half, as he'll try again with the first down. Throwing to start the drive. Brock. And this is caught. It's Brown. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. On the end of 22 yards. First down, Washington. So we've reached halftime here. Let's throw in a broadcast. Well, we're in the last. Throwing on first down, Brock. That's caught by his tight end, Kylan Granson. Look at the big man rumble. Touchdown, Washington. Kylan Granson, 75 yards. And the commanders are pouring it on. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown. Kylan Granson, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Commanders have got it on cruise control. Brandon, remind me again, this is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean, because my eyes are telling me something I'm having trouble believing. Washington ready to try again on offense. Charles, this offense, they've been on a roll. Two drives ago, they scored. Remember last time?
Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Delay of game, off the They're inching closer and closer here to the wrong goal line. When you're backed up like that, all you're trying to do is make sure you don't give up a big play, right? You don't miss an assignment that really gets you into more trouble. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. He's got Granson over the middle. And they work this out past the 25. Call that a very strong gain of 24. First down, Washington. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. On second down, a run with Gibson. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. Antonio Gibson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson, 73 yards. And the Commanders get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. You get in a second-and-long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And nobody... Oh, here's a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Robinson. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Back to throw. Brock steps away to his left. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Had met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. On first and ten, Brock slings this deep from McLaurin. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, 68 yards. And the Commanders will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Me, the Washington offense set to take over again. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. On first down, Brock. That's going to be caught downfield by McLaurin. Touchdown! 
Terry McLaurin with career touchdown number 70. And the Commanders add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He... Now we get another look at Washington on offense. Let's go now. Warriors 70. Let's go. Throwing on first down. Brock. And that's caught by the tight end, Granson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 28 yards. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Looking to throw. Brock. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. Touchdown, Washington. Curtis Samuel. Halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Commanders just continue to roll. The Washington offense set to take over. First and 10, Brock flushed out right. And he will find his man, Samuel. He's to the 15, touchdown! Curtis Samuel with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Commanders extend their lead yet again. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that, man. One play. Back onto the field now, the commander's offense. On first down, Brock eluding the pressure right. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain of 39 that time. And even with the game seemingly in hand, they're continuing to fire away, pressing the ball down the field. Listen, it's worked all day. No reason to go away from it now. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Brock dancing to his left. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. It's been a nice day for him as a passer and as a runner. One of the few mistakes he's made in this ball game. The wrong choice on that one. That one goes incomplete. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. This is caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. They'll look to throw again, escaping the pressure right. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders are pouring it on. He continues to show at this level that he can not only pass for touchdowns, he can run. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. And they 
will indeed take a knee. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of everything.